Okay, Tesla fans, we're back. This is kind of like a part two. I hope you saw the previous video. We were talking about the beautiful exterior and interior that we did on this Model Y. But now I want to focus on a world's first. We are introducing our audio system upgrade for the Model Y. There's actually going to be two versions of it. This is kind of like the step up version, and I'll go through both. But before I go ahead and start showing you the components and telling you some of the secrets that we did and how we did it, let me share with you that actually my personal background and most of the people on our team at T Sportline was in the 12 volt category, car audio, for me, 29 years. I know a little bit about sound and so do my installers. And you know what? Even though the Model Y actually sounds pretty good from Tesla, I'm not gonna deny that, we figured out how to make it better without breaking the bank. So let me go ahead and open up the trunk here. And as you can see, it looks completely stock, factory. And that's what we like to do. I don't like to see big exposed enclosures and things that maybe I used to do in cars 20 years ago. Let's keep it clean. Let's respect the Tesla. As you know, right up front here, we have a compartment that is kind of like additional storage. A lot of people don't use it, but this is where we mounted the Moscone amplifier. This is a multi-channel amplifier with built-in DSP. DSP stands for digital sound processing. We'll talk more about that later. And this is where we decided to mount it. It's really clean. I don't think it takes up much space. You could still do your storage and things like that if you use this area. I'm a Model Y owner. I never use this area. Also, I want to point out right here, this USB cable. We'll normally unplug it, but the, the reason why this is here and it plugs in is because we actually tune this system from our laptop using this connection because we've got DSP. We're able to go ahead and tune each speaker independently and this is really kind of like on how all the magic happens if you have a true understanding of sound. Um, before we talk about the speakers for the inside, let's talk about the subwoofer. Every type of sound system actually needs a subwoofer. It's for the lower end bass frequencies. I don't care what kind of music you listen to, whether it's jazz, hip hop, Frank Sinatra, country, top 40, rap, there's those lower bass frequencies that the speakers in the door and the dash typically cannot produce. So you'll see even Tesla right back here hidden has an eight inch subwoofer in an enclosure. And hey, that's where you get your bass from in this car and it sounds pretty good. We took it one step further. We went with a 10 inch subwoofer made by Auditor and we built a custom enclosure for it right here in the cubby hole area. Yes, it did take up some space in the cubby hole, but you still have plenty of space over here. And obviously this massive kind of rear hatch trunk area, plenty for most people. Could we have used this subwoofer in an enclosure and put it up there? Yes, we could have. Most people prefer for it to be hidden and it works just well through here. So hidden amplifier, 10 inch subwoofer, custom enclosure. Let me go inside and let me show you what we did there. Okay, so now let's talk about what we did as far as speakers in the car. In the front two doors, there's a six inch driver, a six inch speaker by Tesla. We replaced that with the tweeters in the little A pillar corner here. We've replaced those. And two out of the three, three inch speakers in the dash were replaced as well. And what we did was use a product made by Focal. They are arguably the greatest car audio speaker manufacturer in the world. And they're extremely well known in home audio, in professional recording studios. Uh, it's spelled focal, pronounced focal, phenomenal. The Flax series lineup of theirs is definitely above average. It's unlike anything else that's out there in the market, extremely musical. And you get a really great mid bass sound from the sixes in the doors, great mid range and vocals from the three inch in the dash. And then of course, very important, the tweeter for those different higher end frequencies in the A pillars. It all looks factory. We didn't cut anything and it sounds phenomenal, but there's more speakers in this car. Actually in the dash, there's a third three inch speaker. It's right in the middle. We left that alone. It's still connected to the Tesla amplification for audio. So it all still plays together. For the rear doors, there's speakers also. 
we left them in there. It's great for real, uh, excuse me, it's great for uh, rear fill. Tesla did a good job of those. Let's keep it and also keep the cost down. And as you saw earlier, it's all powered by the Moscone amplifier, 600 watts of power. That's awesome. And it's really clean, sounds great. We went full digital on this. And then the icing on the cake over here in the center console, you can see there's actually a knob that allows you to independently control the output of the subwoofer, the bass response, without affecting the other speakers in the car. So you get to have some fun with that, crank it sometimes, bring it down if it's too much. Um, obviously, all your audio, everything that we're used to in our Tesla is still controlled through here. And, you know, it's just normal. Um, you know, you can stream your music, you can go ahead and use your Spotify, your radio, whatever it may be. This amplifier is a digital amplifier and it does not pull a lot of power. It's not gonna affect the range of your car. It's connected safely to the 12 volt battery up underneath the front. Uh, it's within the levels of acceptance of that, the amps. So no issues there. We've done this plenty of times with Model 3 and a lot with Model S and X. Y is the new hot car and the Y deserves a sound system. So like I said in the beginning, there's actually two packages and this package is the higher end one because it actually had the six inch mid-range, the tweeter, and a pair of three inch in the dash. But in the Focal Black Series, you can actually go ahead and just do six and tweet, save some money, and then we would have just kept the three three inch speakers up in the dash. Uh, would sound just as good, just a little bit more to go three way, so I kinda like prefer that. Give us a call, reach out to us, shoot us an email if you have any further questions, inquiries about it, you know, if I were to bump this system right now, I don't think it would come through very clearly on this YouTube video. So I guess you're just gonna have to trust me that this car sounds great. And you know what, across the board, if you listen to hip hop, if you listen to oldies, if you listen to country, uh, you know, uh, trans, uh, uh, you know, house music, whatever, whatever your fancy is, whatever you like to listen to, we have tuned this, again, from our laptop to make sure it sounds great. And it truly, truly does. Thank you so much for watching, Tesla fans. I know this was a lot of information, but you know what? We're the experts, not only on customizing the exterior and the interior on any Tesla, but we're also audio experts in that 12-volt category. Reach out to us, we're here to help. Thank you.